Hello students, today we are going to learn about the structured query language that we will be using in database connectivity as you all, all have done your form handling and uh, you have an important topic in your syllabus that is the database connectivity but before learning the database connectivity I want you all to go through the query standard query language that we will be using for connecting our database to our form data so i will give you a brief introduction on the same as database you all know is a simple collection of data of anything that you are using but here we will be talking about the back end of the form the data of the form how as many times a user will fill a new information that will be stored in a form of a table in the back end of your php processing and that is basically the database handling as you all know there are structure there the language that we use for database connectivity is known as sql that is the structured query language and we have different structured query language commands with the help of which we connect or introduce our database to the form here we have five types of commands here that is ddl dml DCL and DCL and DQL. Here DDL stands for the data definition language in which we have various commands. First is the create command that is used to create a new table or a new data information. Second we under data definition comes the alter command for alteration or modification you can say. Truncate command that is used for deleting any table or data from the table drop is used for dropping a table or a data rename is to rename your table that you have already created next is the dml that is data manipulation language in this we have four commands four simple commands that we regularly use that is insert to insert any row or any column in your table update to update any existing information delete is to delete a row merge is to merge one or two rows in a tables or you can also merge two tables in with the help of this command next is the control transaction control language in this you have commit rollback save point these are the things that we are really using but we will be having an information on all the commands that we can use in our further processing of the forms commit is used to permanently save any of the table or a file and rollback is used to undo any change and save point is used to temporarily save a table or a file and the next we have TC, DCL that is the data control language in which we have two commands that is grant and revoke. Grant is used for any permission of write if we have to grant any permission to our table and revoke is used to take back that permission. Now we have DQL. DQL is data query language in which we can select we only have one command that is the select command in which we can select any row or any form uh, any information or data in our table created this is the basic thing that we always select first any row that you have to create and uh, use any sort of a command on we need to select it first so select is the basic and the very 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 much used command here you can see i will give you an example of a query language creation with the creating of a database if we create a database we use create command create command we have done over here that is the very basic data definition language here we will create a table create database we are creating a database and we have to just write create database and then the name which we are supposed to give to database that will be any of the name it is your choice for example if we create a database named test if we create a table we will create create table and the table name and under this whichever data types you are selecting or anything you already know how many data types we have in every language 
this is similarly in the database also we have the same kind of data types that you can use so this is this finishes our introduction to the database in the upcoming video i will let you know how to connect the database thank you till then please go through this video very deeply and i will give you and link the pdf form as pdf as well for the same that you can give a reading of your own thank you have a nice day